We're looking at a golden eagle nest with an adult sitting on the side of it, standing on the side, and there's two downy golden eagle chicks in it. They're probably about four weeks old. They are the absolute perfect age for banding. Just ideal. The youngsters are just printing away. I'm thinking, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. The reason why we're climbing into the nest today is to put uh, federal bans on the juvenile birds while they're in the nest. Oh, there she goes. And why we do it now is because the birds are at an age where their legs are large enough to accept the band, but they're not large enough to fly out of the nest if we approach uh, from climbing into the nest. And I don't want to destroy the nest when I get up there. The band itself has a unique number on it that allows anyone who discovers that band, whether the bird is alive, injured, or dead, can report it to the Fish and Wildlife Service Bird Banding Lab, and they'll know where that bird was banded. This, in particular, is a significant banding event because we're banding it at the, at the nest site where the bird was born. Keep the bag on her head a little bit. That keeps them calm. Those are some pretty big feet, that's for sure. The reason why we're actually banding these birds, these eagles today, is because we're doing a larger study yeah. on the impact of wind turbines and wind energy right. on birds, in particular golden eagles. Uh, just a few miles from here is the Altamont Pass, one of the largest wind turbine, yeah. wind energy development areas in California. This is the Altamont. It is ground zero for all things wind, wind energy, and wind energy impacts. Loss of raptors such as golden eagles, red-tailed hawks, American kestrels. These are birds that are killed by the wind turbines themselves by blunt force trauma. The mortality rates estimated eagles killed in the Altamont exceed the ability of the local population to produce enough young to compensate and offset for the mortality losses due to the wind farms. So we would lose our golden eagles through time if some of the variabilities like immigration did not exist into the population. If there's a raptor in California, you can find them here at any time of the year.